In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to sign a document created with Foxit PDF Editor to accept signatures. Now, we're going to open up a document that has already been created with Foxit PDF Editor Pro, and it's been configured to allow us to sign the document. I want to say a quick word about digital signatures. There are a number of different documents at NC State that allow you to add digital signatures. Some of them use products like DocuSign, others are less formal and allow you to fill things in. This is really just one of those less formal ways to do it, but I want to walk you through the process because there will be some forms that are internal to our division that may allow you to fill out your signature in this way, and I want you to be comfortable with how to set that up and make it happen. To begin, please make sure that you open your document using the Adobe Reader DC application that's on your computer already. That comes installed whether you are on a Windows machine or a Mac OS machine. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here on a Windows machine, but the process is identical in Mac OS. The first time you do it, you'll see there are areas where you can fill out a signature, and I'm just going to click on it. And if you've never set up a digital ID before, it's going to ask you to configure one. So I'm going to go ahead and do configure digital ID. And I'm going to just create a new digital ID. So we're going to click the create new digital ID. And we're going to save this to the Windows certificate store. That way other applications can access it if they need to. All I need to do is put in my name. I can put in an organizational unit if I want. Just want to use DASA Technology Services Division of Academic and Student Affairs. And I'm going to leave the rest of these exactly where they're at and save. So now I have a digital signature that I can use. Notice that it expires five years after today's date. And when I'm ready, I just click continue. And I have some information that's put in here. And I have a standard text that's added. And it'll give the date that it was signed and when. Let's go ahead and click sign. And you'll see this appear. We need to hit save. And I'm just going to do sign. And once I save the document, you'll notice that my digital signature appears. And here I can pick the date. And hit save one more time. And it's just that simple. If I need to, I can go back in and look at the signature properties if I want to. I can see the signer certificate. This is a self-signed one. Um, and it gives you some additional information. The reason why uh, this is a good way to do things is that it's a standard way to create the files in the Foxit PDF editor that allow people to fill in their digital signatures without having to make you go in and scan things and send it back and forth. Uh, and this just kind of wraps it all into one and makes it a one-click process. Again, if you are building one of these documents, you need to make sure that it's okay to accept digital signatures in this way. This video is not intended to provide guidance on whether or not that's okay. It's just showing you that this is the process for how to do it, so that if you do have a document where you're allowed to use this type of digital signature, you'll be able to point folks to a tutorial video that explains how to sign it. Well, there you have it. That's how to create your digital signature and add it to a document that has already been pre-configured to accept digital signatures.